Alright, check this out everybody. I've seen some comments of people telling me to play this game called Storyteller and I had no idea what this game was about so I looked it up and it looks pretty cool. So basically, you are supposed to put the story together in this book by setting the stage. It says, Introduction. At the end of this book lies a crown. It is bestowed only to the finest storytellers of the realm. Every page is empty save for a title. It is your duty to fill these pages with the most captivating tales. Complete this book and prove yourself worthy of the title of storyteller. I can do this. Let's do love. My favorite subject. I'm going to do a no edit challenge with this. So if you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up. Because here we go. Adam starts off alone, finds love, and dies happy. So Adam starts off alone. There you go, Adam. Thank goodness that leaf is there. And then finds love. So let's put Eve right there. God damn, Eve is thick as shit. Okay, and dies happy. So, there you go. That means Eve isn't there, so how would that mean Adam dies happy? That's one thing that I don't understand. Did you see how thick Eve was? Goodness gracious. Eve dies heartbroken. Okay. So, let's do um, love. Adam and Eve. Little Miss Thickums. And then death. Adam. And... She's heartbroken, still thickums, and then Eve dies. This is cool. Seeing the ghost of a lover. What does that mean? Okay, so seeing the ghost of a lover. So two lovers, and then, oh man, what do I do here? Shit. No, um, yeah? Wait. I don't get it. So that means he's already dead, right? What the heck? Now, what does that mean, everybody? Seeing the ghost of a lover. Seeing the ghost of a lover. Maybe love again? Oh. Got him. A heartbreak is healed. Who the fuck is Bernard and Isabel? A heartbreak is healed. Okay, so let's do Edgar and Lenora. Edgar and Bernard. I broke your heart because I love Lenora. And then our heartbreak is healed. A wedding between the two of you. Wow, without any deaths? I want to legally change my name to Himothy. A miracle, it's a Christmas miracle, everybody. So a heartbreak is healed again. Um, So we only have... Lenora and Isobel. Let's see. Lenora is mourning the death of Isobel, but she doesn't even know why, so never mind. Let's put you back. Can we revive somebody? I will revive something. What? Okay, hold on. Death. Lenora. And Isobel is still questioning things. What is happening right now, everybody? A heartbreak is healed. Okay, what does that even mean? Lenora is right there. And then she dies alone. And then she revives her soul. And she is back. And she is with Isabel. Look, a heartbreak is healed. What do you mean? No? <gasps> yes! I thought I did that earlier. Okay, I like that. Unlucky. I'm not gonna be unlucky. Let's do this. Everyone rejects Edgar? <laughs> yeah, fuck Edgar. Okay, let's reject Edgar. So, rejection? No, 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 no. I need you to be rejected. Because everyone needs to reject Edgar. So, Edgar again. And then... I can't do any more weddings? Oh. Edgar again. And then Edgar dies. No? You don't give a shit about Edgar? Okay. My fault. Okay. Let's do Lenora Bernard. All right. And then what else? No, that doesn't work. Maybe Lenora can meet you in the wedding scene? Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. And then Edgar will get rejected. 
And then... Edgar... Yes! Woo! Alright, that took me way longer than I needed it to. Honestly. Grief. Surviving? Surviving? Surviving spouses find comforts. Okay. So that means death all around me. All I see is death. Wait, what? What What? what you mean? Surviving spouses find death. Stories can use fewer frames? Ooh. Okay. So let's go weddings. Because I need them to be happy before they get sad. Edgar and her are happy. Bernard and Isabel. And now, let's let death kick in. Like so. Well, bam Okay. And then, another death scene. Uh, bam And then I'll Edgar, 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 I mean, fuck! A wedding, Edgar and Isabel. Yay! We did it. We gave them a happy ending. I have no idea what this accent is. You keep the money. All right. So we did 7 out of 51. Revelation. Edgar shocks himself. Edgar shocks himself. Okay. Uh, let's see what amnesia is. Oh, wait. I know, I know, I know, I know. You go here. Boom. So Edgar dies. And then now, in the mirror, Edgar <gasps> sees the ghost! This is awesome. Yo, I love stuff like this. Rejected by own spouse. Embarrassing. That shit's cringe. Okay. Rejected by own spouse. So, I guess you two are going to fall in love. And then Edgar is going to die. But then, Edgar, he gets miraculously revived. But Lenora meets Isabel. And now... Edgar, the ghost of Edgar, meets Lenora again. But you got rejected because you are already moved on. You already moved on to Isabel. Reunion. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. Okay. So Edgar and Lenora. And then, bada bing, bada boom. Revive. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think death, Lenora. Revive. Both of them. And then, they find love once again. That's not it. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. Oh. No? Uh, Ghost Edgar doesn't give a shit? My bad. Okay, hold on. Let's do... Uh, how are you not happy about that? You know what? I think... I think... I know what to do. So, Edgar is gonna get the revive treatment. How do we, um, throw the trash? Okay. So, Edgar is going to get revived. But then, uh, Lenora is going to die. And then, let's delete that. Lenora is going to get revived. And they are going to live happily ever after. Yes. Last one is Calamity. So, let's go lovers. And then death. I really love killing Edgar. And then Lenora and Isabel meet. But Edgar gets revived. And then... Uh, fuck, wait. That's not it. Hold on. Let's do another death. This time, Lenora dies. Edgar hasn't been heartbroken yet. So... He needs to get revived. And then he's going to see that Lenora is dead. Cool. Because he still hasn't gotten over the love of his life. Lenora drinks poison. So let's go one, two. Poison, Lenora. Wait, why aren't you drinking poison? Can somebody make you drink poison, please? You're just going to look at it. Okay. Boom. Why are you not drinking the poison? I get what's going on here. It's a Romeo and Juliet type of situation. So they are going to be happy. And then they are going to be sad. And then she is going to do that. 
Got it. Double poison? Double shit? Okay. So, let's go... You two are married. And then... You die first. I love killing Edgar first. I don't know what it is. Lenora drinks stats. It really is a Romeo and Juliet situation. Revive. There we go. But then he sees poor Lenora is no Mora. And then he too drinks Le Poisson. Thank you, everybody. And we got it. Romeo and Juliet achievement. Wrath. You're going to feel my wrath. Isabel remarries. Okay, it's about to get scary when Isabel remarries. So, let's go with the wedding first. Let's set the stage. Let's set the scene. They're in love. And then all of a sudden, they have a huge fight. And they end things there. They're like, marriage? What were we thinking? And then after that, wine? She thinks about things. She's like, I'm about to sip on this and make some very bad decisions. So, I think they fight one more time. To the death. Right? No? Okay. No, never mind. I think that uh, poison. Nope. You said fuck that. Isabel looks at the poison. She's just looking at it for no reason. Hold on. Maybe right here. She's mad. So now she's thinking she's going to poison the girl. There you go. Whew. You have to give them a reason to do things. That's the point of this game. That's so sick, though. Chapter 5, Beauty. Curse is lifted. So let's set the scene. It's a forest. And then the curse is lifted. So... Oh, no, no, no. Wait. I think that's right. Let's put the witch with Snow White or Snowy. And then the prince kisses Snowy. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Why not, though? But that's, that's the, that's the girl. That's the girl. That's the one they tell you not to worry about. And maybe they're in the forest. The witch turns Snow White into a frog. And then Snow White sees the prince. And they have to kiss. So they kiss right here. Yeah. I don't understand how that makes sense though. Unless the frog could talk. I'm not very familiar with the Snow White story. But if that prince is just out there kissing frogs, fuck's wrong with you, man? Prince saves Tiny. Okay, the prince saves Tiny. So the witch turns Tiny into a frog as well. Do you know any other tricks, witch? And then the prince come across Tiny. And how do you save him? Do you kiss him? Let me see. Fuck. No. I think... Snow White? Wait, you don't even want to kiss him either? Hold up. Let's go, like, right here. But what about Tiny, though? Yo, come on, Tiny. Prince saves Tiny. I think I know what to do. Um, so, we're going the boat. Witch and Prince. Ew, never mind. Let's go forest. Witch and Prince. All frogs, bro? Okay, hold up. Kiss. Snow White. And Tiny. No. Okay. How about both of them kiss? Two frogs. <laughs> Dude, this is funny. Okay. I need to think. I need to think. Let's go forest, prince, and tiny. They're lovers. But then, the witch comes along, turns tiny into a little frog. And then this time, prince meets tiny, tells him he's a frog, and they must kiss to break Le Curse. Fuck! Okay, so we have to trick the prince. So I think this is what we do. We make the witch turn Tiny into a frog. And then we make the witch turn Snowy into a frog. And then we let the prince think that he's going to have to kiss the princess or Snowy. But then he ends up kissing the frog. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Competitor. That's what I am. Which becomes the mirror's favorite. Okay. Let's see. Which? <laughs> she loves Snowy. So what she's gonna do is turn Snowy into a frog. Nope. I think the witch is gonna concoct some kind of potion with your old ass. You're gonna go in the forest and meet Snowy. Turn into a frog. Right? 
Snowy's gonna go in front of the frog. Wait, you love her so much? What do you mean? Hold on. Let's put Snowy in the cauldron? Fuck, no. You still love the frog? But why though? Por qué? Huh. What the fuck? So the witch is mad that the mirror really likes Snowy more than her. So she makes some kind of potion to turn Snowy into a frog. And then she goes back, but she still loves the frog. I don't get it. Hmm. She's tasting something. And then now... Cool! So I guess she made a potion to make her look younger. I think that's what that is. Because I am a little confused. Inclusive. The mirror praises everyone. Okay. Let's see. Peachy? <laughs> Peachy's so cute. Okay. Um, froggy? No. Okay. Cliff? What are we doing at the cliff? I don't understand. Dude, I love the music in this game. It's so relaxing. You love Prince? I mean, Peachy? Okay, let's do this again. I need Haiti to be the biggest hater. So, Cliff, Haiti's in the back, Peachy in the front, and then Mirror is going to see that Peachy is a ghost and is like, oh my gosh! Right? And then Haiti gets all the love. Or what about Froggy? No, Mirror loves Haiti. Okay, we all have hate in our hearts. So, hmm, I don't understand. Fuck, let's go to the cliff. And then, what the fuck? <gasps> oh, Peachy kills Haiti and then, boom! So everybody gets some love. Everybody gets a turn on the mirror carousel. That's what I'm talking about. The Manor, Chapter 6, Murder, Butler's Rampage. Let's go in the ballroom. Let's do the butler with the duke. And then, gun. Oh, no, 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 no. So, let's go get the gun first with the butler. And then, with the strap, take that. And also you, take some of that. Easy. That one was way too easy. Duke feels relief, huh? Let's do that. And then he puts the gun back. And then he's like, oh shit, okay. It was just a glitch in the matrix. The gun is actually there, it never went away. Detective arrest murder. I'm pretty sure I know what to do here. So we need a murder to happen first. So the butler gets the gun, shoots Duke in the ballroom. The detective arrives, sees that there's no gun. He also goes in the ballroom, and he questions the butler, right? But he also sees the detective, and then he realizes that it's gotta be fuck. Hold on, butler, and then, no, that doesn't make any sense. He grabs the gun, shoots the duke, the detective arrives, right? In the ballroom. Wonders where the duke is? No? Checks for the gun. He puts the gun back. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, Butler puts the gun back, and then, detective sees a clue. There you go, arrest him right on the spot. Right over here, officer. I found the culprit. Detective arrests innocent. What? Okay. So, let's do that. Butler kills Duke. Butler puts gun back. Oh shit, whoops. Butler puts gun back. And then, uh, Duke, our detective comes, sees a clue. No, 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 that doesn't make any sense. Duchess does not touch the gun. Hold on. That's weird. Why are you not looking at the gun? Let's reverse the role. Let's have the butler get the gun. The butler kills Duchess. And then he puts the gun back. Duke goes and gets the gun. 
touches it. The detective sees the fingerprints and arrests my main man, Duke. Wrongfully accused. You're gonna need a good lawyer, my boy. Oh, wait, whoops. Okay. Let's go next chapter. Crown Intrigue. I am very intrigued. Four deaths. Okay. So, let's go Knight and Baron. No? That's not a thing? There you go. And then, Knight gets revived. And this time, Baron gets knocked down. Four deaths. What the fuck? I don't get it. <laughs> That's three. Got it. Damn, that was good. That was smooth. I'm not even going to lie. The Queen Marys. The Queen Marys? Wait, kidnap? What the fuck? Uh, let's see. Knight... Baron, kidnap. So, there you go. Wedding between Queen and Baron. Nope. Okay. I got it. Queen, Queen and Knight Mary. No. I'm sorry about that. The Queen doesn't want to marry anybody? The heck? Baron, Queen? Got it. Oh, the knight wants to marry the queen? I know what to do, I know what to do. The baron captures the queen, but then the knight saves the day! And then the knight and the queen marry. Ain't that a fairy tale wedding? Usurpers, everyone sits on the throne. Okay, everyone sits on the throne. So the queen is sitting on the throne, but then the baron gets super jelly. And then now the baron's on the throne. But then now the knight gets jelly. Oh, uh, come on. Or does the queen knock him off? There you go. And then now the knight is on the throne. So the knight doesn't do anything. The knight is such a little pussy. The queen marries again. Okay. So what's a disguise? The baron puts on a crocodile costume, I guess. And then marries this thing. I don't even think that's a thing. Kidnap? Let me see. The fuck? Can the queen put on this guy's? No. The queen marries. Marries this dude? Uh, does the baron put the disguise back? And then saves the queen? Oh my goodness. Am I, am I about to do this? I won't take Jade that. That was beautiful. That was a story itself. Red-handed. Detective arrest murder. Okay. So, detective arrest murder. So, we are going to have the butler get the gun again. There you go. He got the strap. Kills Dookie. And then... Wait, no, 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 no. Shoot. Who's a witness? The heck? <gasps> I... <laughs> I get it. Look at those eyes, though. Ba bam And then, detective, arrest that ass. Okay, cool. Let me take a sip of this real quick. Because all this problem solving making me thirsty. The next one is called Thief. Butler gets fired. The butler gets fired. Okay. So, the butler gets the gun. But the butler's like, you know what? I'm not really about that life. No, 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 no. Um, there you go. He looks. And then he's like, you know what? I'm not him. I'm not like that. But it doesn't matter. Okay, I guess it does matter. Wait, I just realized something. That doesn't make any sense. Because nobody's even watching him with the gun. So he needs to have the gun. He had to have the gun in order for the Duke to see him. There you go. Revenge. The sweet, sweet revenge! Spouse gets vengeance. Okay. So, let's do, uh, um, ball, no, witness. So, Duchess is gonna see that my man said, get the strap. 
shoots Duke, Bob Lau, and then puts the gun back. But then she gets the gun because she's like, fuck this. And she goes, Splat Damn! Yeah! All right. Reports. Duchess gets Butler arrested. Duchess gets Butler arrested. Okay, so... Duchess is going to be a witness once again. Por favor. Grab the gun. And then... In the ballroom. Bada bing, bada boom. He puts the gun back. Wait, no. Put the gun back. Like so. But then... Duchess is going to snitch. No. Snitch. And then... Arrest that man. Right now. So good. I feel like I have a talent for these things. I feel like I should just start writing books. So, chapter 9. Justice. Sweet, sweet justice. Usurper dies. Okay. So, the queen says... The usurper must die. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's do kidnap. There you go. But then, the knight saves the queen and then she says man's gotta die man's got to go wait what hold on hold on hold on i don't understand executes right yeah there you go is that it hello <laughs> all right everybody i'm not the smartest person in the world so i am going to see what a usurper is a person who takes a position of power or importance illegally or by force. A usurper of the throne. Oh, okay. So, I get it. The throne is there for the taking. But now, the knight rescues the queen. Executes my mans. Right? Oh, you don't have it though. Okay, I get it. So, the baron executes you. Oh, you need the crown. Okay, so let's go to the throne, and then you execute the queen, but then the knight says, fuck that, and then he executes you. No? Okay, hold on. I think I know what to do. So let's just start with the kidnap. So Baron kidnaps the queen, and then he can take the crown now. Now, Baron says, time to die. But then the knight's like, you know what? I'm not having that. I'm not having that. See? So, he kidnaps my mans. And he says, it's time for... No, 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 no. So, the knight kidnaps Baron. He sits on the throne. And he says, let me execute my first plan of action. And that's how it's done. Unforgiven. Knight loses his head. So this kidnap throne, execute death, and revive. Holy shit. Okay. So I think the uh, queen captures the knight, right? And then executes my boy for one reason or another. No? Okay. How about uh, kidnap... The knight kidnaps the queen. The fuck? No, that's not it. What is going on? Throne? Hmm. And then kidnap? Let me see. No, the knight is loyal. Knight's loyal. Knight loses his head. How about... The queen dies. And then he's heartbroken. So now, he gets the throne... But then Queen revives and then she kidnaps my boy, right? She gets the throne and then she's like, you know what? I've had enough of this. Bro, I love this game. Amnesia, the execution. Okay, so how about we go, they get married. No, they don't wanna get married, okay. Kidnap. Like that. Got it. And then... Bro gets amnesia. He's like, what? And then they end up getting married. No, she's still captured. 
Okay. Hold on. Wedding, kidnap, execute. So let's go kidnap. He brings her back down. They get married. She's mad. And then he says, time to die. Got it. Okay. The execution of the Baron of the Queen. Whoops. I didn't want the Queen to be executed. Misfortune. Little misfortune. Queen suffers four tragedies. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. So let's go. Mary's. Nope. The heck? Bro, Queen has an attitude. Baron captures the Queen. And then... How do we do this? He gets the throne. And then... I think... The knight rescues. And then... Fuck. Knight gets executed? Right? Fuck me. I don't know. She kidnaps him. And then suffers four tragedies? How about we do wedding? These two. And then execution of... Boom. There you go. We had to make them love each other before we separate them. Before we take both their heads off. So now it's chapter 10. The king! Cyclic? Mutually toxic love affair? Okay, mutually toxic love affair. So the queen and the king are going to be lovey-dovey. But then it's about to get real toxic. So bro gets amnesia. She's still mad, but he's not. And then she gets amnesia. And then now they love each other again. No? Okay, fight again. <laughs> Hold on, love, then fight, then amnesia for both. And then they love each other again. <sighs> Fook. Oh, no, 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 my bad, my bad. There you go. I was supposed to do king and queen, but I did the king twice. He had double amnesia. Double execution. Okay. So the king made queen. And then execute. And then another execution. Where the king takes revenge? Let me restart that. I want to do that. Okay. How about the king waits? There you go. Now the king gets that sweet, sweet revenge! Boom! Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, they both love the king? Where the king takes revenge? Okay. There you go. But the king... I don't understand. Actually, you know what? I get it. So, the king is going to talk to the maid. And then the queen is going to say, Fook that... But then the king is also going to say, Fook, that. Got it. Promotion. Rags to royalty. Rags to royalty. Okay. How's this going to work? Rags to royalty. So let's go. These two talking. Right? Actually, I don't know. Hold on. These two talking. The maid is going to spy. She's going to kidnap. No. Actually, no. Okay, wait. What the heck? A fair? Nice. So... Wedding? Hold on. But he only loves the queen, so... Kidnap? Right here? No, they're not really doing anything, though. So we gotta start off with some love. A good old love story. But then... As every love story, it becomes a horror story. So then, she gets kidnapped. But then, my mans said, hold on, what are you doing with my side piece? No, never mind. He brings her back down. And then he's like, oh, the queen did this? Okay, bet. Bam. And then now, bada bing, bada boom. That's a thinker. That one was a thinker. Machiavelli. Baron rules alone. 
Okay, Baron rules alone. So the king and queen, they are getting married, right? And then Baron marries maid, right? Did they marry? No. Okay. The Baron kicks king off the cliff. Or was it queen? There you go. And then now, king marries maid. Then Baron's like, you know what? I had enough of this. And I also had enough of you. So now, I'm gonna marry myself because I'm married to the game. Wait, what? <coughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. There we go. I think that's how we do it, right? But, he says, Fuck that! Got him. That one was easy. Chapter 11. Monsters! Bernard drinks poison. Okay. So Bernard is talking to Juliet. They fall in love. But then he turns into a werewolf. He accidentally eats Juliet. But then he turns back into a person. Sees that Juliet has been eaten to the bone, literally. And he says, oh, my dear Juliet. I can't. I shan't. I can't believe I freaking did that, bro. One take, Jay. Dragon. About to dragon these balls across your forehead. Wait, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Queen gets Baron arrested. Queen gets Baron arrested. Okay. So ballroom. Queen gets Baron arrested. Let's see. They're kind of just standing there looking at each other. That's not right. How about we do that? And then Baron and the Queen together. But then Queen says, Help me, help me. He puts the disguise back. And then they talk to each other. No, they don't. Huh. Okay. There you go. Let's go. Detective. No. Ballroom. There you go. He puts the disguise back. But then, fuck, that's not it. I think we actually have to make the disguise go back. He investigates it and now you're done. 40 lashes, my boy. Vampire, cured of vampirism. So let's see, it's nighttime. Dracula is talking to Mina. And then you need to be cured though. Oh shit, wait, what? Crypt? I don't get it. No? Where's the professor? Okay. So, we have to go to the crypt. John is with Dracula. And then that's it. Nope. I don't think we cured him. I think we just killed his ass. No, wait. I accidentally did that. I honestly don't know how I did that, but I put the whole thing together. There's no way I'm doing it one take J style like that again. That was cool. Monster is slain. Okay. So we have these two guys just talking, I guess. Let's go like this. Let's go with um forest. No, the moon, monster slain, and then Baron's talking to the professor. No, he's not. How about Bernard talks to the professor? No, they don't give a shit. Okay. How about Baron? No. What am I supposed to do? That? And then go to the professor? No, that's scary. How about these two guys meet up? And then, bro turns into a werewolf, comes back. Shit. <laughs> Professor. Oh, crap. No. Hmm. Monster is slain. Bro, Baron's the real monster here, isn't he? Okay. Let's turn back into a regular guy. There you go. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. 
So what I need to do is have the guy go to the professor back in the forest. Boom. Pop pow. Dragon dies or the werewolf dies? How do we do it if the werewolf dies? I kind of want to restart that. Let me see. So they're in the forest. Um, actually, bro turns into a werewolf. And then also, my mans gets his disguise. They meet up in the forest. I think. But then, bro puts the disguise back. Meets up with the professor. And then, here we go. Got it. I don't like that one, though. I really don't. I don't like the Baron. I'm not a fan of the Baron. But we're just going to do the dragon dice. I like that one. Chapter 12, drama. Haiti murders father and marries mother. What the fuck did I just read? Okay, Haiti marries father. I mean, murders father. Fuck. Okay, family. So, Haiti does not like your father. I am your father. Okay. Haiti's mad at that. So, Haiti says, I'm done with the bull. No, I am your father? Okay. How about... Well, let's do the family tree. Right? No, no, no. Let's do a wedding first. Tiny and Peachy. And then... Tiny says, I am your father. But then... Um... Peachy says, I love you. I'm your mother. What? There you go. He's mad again. So he's going to knock Tiny off the cliff. And then they end up getting married. Mary's mother. No, that doesn't make any sense, though. Like, how is this going to happen? Unless the bomb gets dropped at the end. There you go. And now we're going to drop the bombshell. Okay, we have to save it for last. Because obviously they're going to be like, what the fuck? Tiny avenges his brother. What's his name? Microscopic? So, Tiny avenges his brother. Greeny, I guess? No, Greeny. Haiti? Bro, why is everybody everybody's father? Wait, 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 wait. I get it. I get it. We don't need to establish that Haiti's the father. We just need to establish that they have the same mother. Okay. So, Peachy is the same mother to Tiny and Greeny. But then, Haiti is such a freaking hater that he kills Greeny. Like so. Seance says that Haiti must die. And bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so we just had to establish that they had the same mom. Not the exact same parents. Haiti is murdered by his daughter? God damn. It's cold. So we have to establish that Haiti is Peachy's father. Right? Murdered by his daughter. So... Uh... Murdered by his daughter. What the heck? I have no idea. Is that a thing? Okay, wait, no. Haiti and the daughter is happy for him, so... That's not right. <laughs> I get it, I get it. So, the affair would be Peachy is with Tiny, and then Haiti is obviously a hater. But then, she sees Peachy with Greeny. What the heck? He's just happy either way? Okay. She's like, go ahead, get yours. Um, Can Haiti push Greeny off the cliff? Nope. Okay. I am your father. Haiti is murdered by his daughter. So the only way it would make sense is if he sees his daughter happy, but then he sees that the person that Peachy is with actually is a fuck boy. There you go. Kicks his ass off that cliff. Bam. And then Peachy's like, it was your father. And then now, boom. Okay. But he was just protecting her. I agree. Haiti is not a bad guy in this situation. Just trying to protect his own daughter. Tiny and Haiti wait forever. Tiny and Haiti wait forever. Okay. Do we just do this? 
Don't tell me this is all we do. Whoops. Whoops. If this is all we do, I'm done. You've got to be joking me. So now this is the final chapter. Mad husband. Edgar murders his wife. Okay. So Edgar is going to marry Lenora. But then what ends up happening is Lenora says nothing. Edgar murders his wife. Huh. Let's see. That's not it. How about he drinks some wine? He has a seance. No, he doesn't. How about we put another wedding there? But this time, she's mad at him. So, what he does, he has some wine and thinks about it. Right? And then does she confront them? Yep. Now what? Edgar murders his wife. Now there needs to be a reason. Okay. So, he marries Lenora, but then Isabel comes to confront him. So, Isabel tries to poison the wife. Right? That's gotta be it. Okay. And then, she drinks it. They end up... I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, the seance says it was Isabel. So he lures her in. No, no, no. What the heck? Edgar murders his wife. But I just had Isabel murder Lenora for no reason. You know what? Instead of the seance, how about um, Edgar marries Lenora? No, no, no. My bad, my bad. Isabel? But then... Edgar gets a visit from Lenora. So he's like, all right, all right, I got you. And then she drinks the wine. Got him. Mini Hamlets. Tiny murders uncle to avenge his father. So we need to establish that Tiny has a father. So let's see. Fuck, this is going to be hard. Tiny murders uncle to avenge his father. So let's just say Bluey is the dad. Tiny, that he, he uh, meets his father. I think I can't even speak English there. And then, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Family would be, I'm your mother. So Peachy is the mother of Bluey. And also, Peachy is the mother of Greenie, who's going to be Tiny's uncle. So... Uh, what? Okay, so we need to establish who the father is. So, this is Tiny's dad, right? Murder's uncle. And then, Greeny is also the father of Haiti. And Greeny is also the father of Blue. So, um, Peachy and Bluey get married. But then, uh, Haiti also wants to marry Peachy. Knocks him off the cliff. I'm getting so overwhelmed. Tiny tells, um, the son, or the son, I mean, the father tells the son. You know what I mean? So that means Tiny knocks off Haiti. Holy shit, that was overwhelming. Like, it made sense out loud, but putting it together... It gets me so overwhelmed. I don't know why it's so hard for me to piece things together. Like, I have to take it really, really slow. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. Okay, so... Um, Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. So, the detective is going to look at... No, actually, um, Duke is going to grab the gun. Right? I don't get it. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison? I don't understand. Can the detective look in the ballroom? Duke doesn't have the gun, though. Huh. That's weird. How do I get the Duke to grab the gun? He kind of just, like, caresses it a little bit. 
He shoots the detective to avoid prison. What in the world? <laughs> no? He doesn't like guns? Okay, what about you, Duchess? You don't like guns either. So let's go ballroom. Let's see. They like each other. She loves him. But she, he don't like that, right? No? I guess it doesn't matter? Huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. So, Duke is witnessing the Duchess and the King talking. And he's mad about that. So now he said, get me the strap. But, uh, the detective is now watching. Because Duke is going to shoot King. And then, detective is going to confront my mans. Oh, shoot. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let's take the king out of here. Uh, he's gonna tell the king, right? Is he gonna tell the king? He's not gonna tell the king. Oh, shit! My bad. Um, the detective is going to tell the duke what's going on here. Or does he shoot her? Okay, so the duke shoots the detective to avoid prison, so... Duke sees that, Duke grabs the gun, and the detective sees that, but as soon as we see the detective, he arrests us. So what if we do this? There you go. And then now the king tells the detective, and then, but, but wait, 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 wait. Um. Duke sees the king talking to the detective. Damn. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Love revolution. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. Whew. I think we just got to play around with this. We have to make them mad. So let's see. So the king can have the blue haired girl there. So the queen's pissed off about that. Okay. So now the queen kidnaps the maid, and then what? Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. What about this? Oh, she's still locked up, okay. How about the king sees the queen and the knight? No, 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 no. Um, the knight rescues her, okay, and says it was the queen. So the knight says, ba-bam! Nope, nope, he does not say ba-bam. Maybe we have the king. There you go. Okay. So we'll have the knight rescue the king. And he's like, it was the queen, I swear. Please kill her for me. <clears throat> nope, he didn't do that. Okay. What about the affair, though? Yeah, what about that affair, though? He's like, huh? What affair? I didn't see anything. Fuck. Okay. But wait, can the king confront the queen? There you go. And then now, what's going to happen here? What happens now? Nope, she loves the king. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. So how do we do this? Um, let's do the cliff, king, queen, and then a fair, knight, no, nope. Okay, let's scrap this everybody, let's scrap this, let's scrap this, let's scrap this. Uh, we're gonna go a fair, and then we're gonna have the king with the maid, queen sees that, she's pissed, so... She kidnaps blue hair, and then the king, uh, yeah, right? So he kidnaps her, and then knight rescues, and then he kicks king off. Wait, hold on. 
The maid has no reason to push off the queen. Yeah, she does! Oh my goodness! Holy crap! Wait, where does she get, like, the emotion to kill? Oh, because she got kidnapped in the second slide. Duh! Oh, that was good. The ceremony, nice. Put it... Don't tell me this was it. Don't do this to me. No! Please! I want more! Don't give me that crown, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, yay! Aww. Marvelous! Throughout these pages, you created tales of love, ambition, intrigue, and vengeance. You have proven yourself worthy of the crown and the title of storyteller. Now it is time to close this book, ponder about the possibilities of the future, and go fill the pages of your own story. What a cool game, bro. That was so sick. This is why I love reading the comments, man. Like, you all recommend me the best games. That was actually a lot of fun to play. That was one of the more fun games that I played in a long time. It made me have to think really hard. And it was so satisfying when you ended up getting it correct. Because I was kind of like, alright, let me test this out, let me test this out. And, man, it really is rewarding when you get it. I love games like that, where you can fail over and over and over again. And then once you finally get it... Once you finally piece it together exactly how it's supposed to be, it just feels much more rewarding than like a walking simulator where you're just trying to activate certain things by just walking from one end of the room to the other. The fact that, you know, you had to put together a story and it actually made a lot of sense. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I enjoyed that a lot. I'm going to leave the link to this game in the description box below. If you all want to try it out for yourselves, then please support this game because that was actually a lot of fun to play. Hopefully you all enjoyed my playthrough of it. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude.